All right, everyone, it's Alexander Mark III again. I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the Honeywell and the Health Smart in my bedroom. Like I said, this the Honeywell is my grandpa's. Um, I think it is actually a pretty nice humidifier. I when we first got it, I was like, this is the worst humidifier. It's that it's really not. It's very good. <laughs> Um, this is the Honeywell model HUT-155W, I think. 150 HUT-150W. <clears throat> um, not really much to say about it other than it is um, pretty cool. It looks really nice, too. Um, better take this off. Probably see there's a nebulizer. There's a little um, direct current blower fan in there. And um, the whole thing is run off of DC. And I'll show you why I mean that. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on the low setting first. Even at this setting, it pushes a great amount of steam. A lot better than I anticipated. In fact, he only needs to run it on the low speed and it gets the job done. There is a little night light, which sometimes is problematic. Um, but yeah, it lights up the tank. It's pretty bright too. Uh, we'll go ahead and just quickly turn it up. And it starts to push out a lot of steam. Forgot to mention it is movable. I'm going to just <clears throat> shut this off for a second and see if we can get the noise that it makes. pretty quiet humidifier. Um, I will talk about the pros and cons. Let's turn this on. Get a little look. A pro with this thing is that it is super quiet. Um, <laughs> one of the best models that I could find that are this quiet. Um, second off, the price is very good for one of these. I, I would say it's definitely worth the price. Number three, there's no filters whatsoever to clean or replace, which is a huge selling point for one of these. This is the last one that was at my target, and then they were all gone. So these definitely sold out pretty quickly. Very easy to use. The only thing I don't like about it is that there's no like antimicrobial treatment on the tank. If they had that on there, then I wish they would, but that's the only thing that I would have to write home about, but otherwise it's good. And I'll show you the really cool thing, the uh, how to tell if these are DC. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but <clears throat> watch this when I unplug it. So it turns off. I'm gonna just plug it back in right here. goes back on. Obviously the light is just one thing that comes on and off. But yeah, so otherwise this is a very good humidifier and I would definitely recommend this. So thank you for watching. Okay, it's Alexander Mark III again. And here's the Health Smart humidifier. I made a video of this in December 2014, I believe. By the way, excuse my dog. He's just barking because the um, snow plows are they're plowing whatever they're called. It's snowing pretty bad here. But anyways, here's the Health Smart that's in my bedroom. You probably remember this was in my parents' room. What turned out is that this machine was clearly, they didn't like it, and I gave the Venta to them. The Venta is a much better unit than this, I'll tell you that right now. It's probably even better than the Honeywell, but, you know, it is the best. 
We bought this at Lowe's along with the uh, home medics with the broken tank. Still trying to get a replacement for it. Um, not the oscillating one. This is the oscillating one. The um, this one with the broken tank. Um, and I don't really have the most positive things to say about this. Um, but it is very similar to the Honeywell. Um, it drains out the same way, but the problem with this one is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's actually, it's pulling water at the top, because the hole to put out the mist is right here. Most of it... Um, turns back into water right here and um, this isn't really a problem but when you lift it up when replate when um, refilling it this is what happens if you lean it one way literally leaks all over the floor and I don't really like that at all because it wets the floors and um, I, I just can't stand wet floors uh, but yeah very similar uh, design you can turn it around I will turn it on. The fan on this one is a little bit noisier and not as powerful. One thing I have noticed on this one is sometimes it sounds like it's actually dry. It's drying out. Um, I don't know if it's just a flaw or if they're all like that, but if you get up close, you can definitely hear it. I don't know if that's going to be a problem in the future or anything like that, but I hope it's not because then I'll be very disappointed and I'll probably go into the trash. I want to like this humidifier, but it's just not the best. And by the way, there's no way to turn off that green, that green light. It doesn't bother me, but I can tell you what, I could see why some people um, on the Lowe's website would say it bothered them. Sorry, my dogs are barking, but for the noise. I just don't think it's as, it's as good as it should have been. Now, the box with this one that it came with totally just lies about everything. It says it will do a large room. And... It's been so dry that I had to use this and that home medics up there. Um, so, I don't think it's meant for a large room. Sometimes at this high speed, it does a good it does a good job in here on high speed and that's it. Otherwise, it stinks. It says it will last about 50 hours on um, the box as well. Which I believe they're talking about the very low setting. Which literally just... It doesn't do a very good job, it's still slowing down. And that's quite disappointing. A good pro that I could give with this unit is that it is very simple to operate. And luckily, there's no filters to get or replace. Um, you know, what you get with the unit is what you get. Um, I have had to use, and in the Honeywell as well, well, my grandpa doesn't use it, but if if that was mine, um, distilled water, because these things literally just spew out white dust, and it kind of drives me crazy. I don't like white dust. With the Hometics, you are given a little blue capsule that floats around the tank, and um, it takes literally, if not all, the white dust out. Um, but yeah, it's very messy during, uh, when you have to refill it. It is sometimes noisy, and this light is bothersome. Now, the Honeywell has a little bit of a, uh, lighter green light. Um, uh, but it's not as annoying, but, you know, if you do want more light, you can have that. You don't even have to have that at all. But with this, this is pretty annoying. Uh, for some people, I could see why.
And um, it's the exact same DC process. Um, I'll just unplug it. I believe this is this has to be ran by a transformer or something. Let's see, it does the exact same thing. And I forgot to mention one thing. You can buy, if you do want to buy both, you can buy this one at Lowe's for, I think, 40 to $50, and the much better made Honeywell for about 30 to 40 Um, So, that's just my little review or comparison between both. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have found this video very helpful. Thank you very much for watching.